Today we're going to use Crew AI to build your own set of AI agents that are going to work together to work as your automotive diagnostics crew. So the reason why I'm doing this project is because this is a problem that I recently had to deal with myself where there was something I needed to fix on my car and at that point in time I just wasn't able to get a hold of a good mechanic. Now by the end of this tutorial you're going to now by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to one be able to customize your Crew AI project two you're going to be able to Take this and be able to modify the code on your own to create any kind of project you want. And three, you're going to have an in-depth knowledge into how to put these Crew AI projects together. Now, if you went back to my first video, you know that the main focus of these tutorials was to show you how to install, run, and get set up with Crew AI, even if you had no technical experience. And I really want to take this moment to thank all of you that watched that first video. So far, that's the one that's doing the best in my channel. So that tells me that there's definitely some demand for those kind of videos. So if that's something you'd like to see in the future, me trying to simplify tutorials or technologies in the simplest way possible, please let me know with feedback, comments, likes, if there's questions you have, if there's problems you're still having when you're trying to install this on your own, please just let me know. I'll be more than happy to help. So now we're going to get started with this, right? So back to my story. A little, some time ago, some months ago, I was really trying to, those problems I was having with my vehicle. I took it to a mechanic. And while this mechanic, you know, I had had previous positive experiences with them, I felt that at this point in time, maybe, you know, maybe they had their attention in the wrong thing that was going on with the car, right? I'm not trying to say that they were being dishonest. I just, you know, I understand when you do this kind of work for a long time, sometimes people have their own preferences and they develop biases in terms of, you know, they hear one symptom and they think, okay, this symptom equals that. Now, it kind of seemed like it was going in that direction, and the reason why I didn't want to go with their gut was mainly because that repair, which I can't remember exactly what it was going to be, was going to end up costing me around $800. So at that point in time, I didn't have that money, so what I decided to do was start using ChatGPT to try and figure out what the answer was. I had an OBD2 scanner, well, I ended up buying one, and based on the quotes that I got, I started asking ChatGPT in multiple different ways how, basically, how I could you know, how I could get started on fixing that problem, what would be the most what would be the most cost efficient way to fix it, how should I start with the simplest answer, so on and so forth. Now this took a very long time because I was just going back and forth on a single chat GPT chat. But with Cray AI, we wouldn't have to have that headache because we'd be able to basically delegate that task of finding out what the problem is in a more logical problem solving manner than just asking questions to than just asking question after question. So let's go over a little bit about, in the previous tutorial, if you remember, we went over how Crew AI is set up. So let's go over that little chart that we had from the previous video, right? So if you recall, when Crew AI, when you run your Crew AI project, basically you build a custom crew. It has two custom agents, and then it's gonna take the tasks that you type in whenever you run the program, and the task details, is gonna take those task details into the first task. It's gonna perform the first task using the first agent and taking both details it's then going to give you a result and then for the second task using the second custom agent you're going to you're going to take those previous results and you're going to get your final solution now at the end of this tutorial you will be able to have a similar result but instead of where in the previous videos we didn't change anything in the code i'm also going to show you how you can change the code without really having to stress about how to type it yourself either so that's going to be really cool i said you didn't have to code but you're going to have to copy and paste a little bit so now on here, so this is going to be a map very similar to one we just showed, but this is implementing the what your you know crew AI of automotive you know mechanics expert is going to look like. So your custom crew, if you look here, is going to have two custom agents. One's going to be an OBD2 expert. So just you know this is going to be your guy that's super knowledgeable in OBD2 codes for auto mechanics and other auto mechanics stuff. And then for this example, we're dealing with a 2008 Toyota Corolla. So your other custom agent is going to be a mechanic that's solely an expert on, you know, Toyota Corollas, specifically 2008 model, uh, problems that are common with them, solutions that work for fixing those cars, and so on and so forth. Now, for your input, I know before in the previous video, we were only typing random things just to get the program to run. But your first input is going to be your OBD2 code. So, you know, whenever you scan your car, uh, the code that gives you. And then your second input is car symptoms that you've noticed. Is it shaking? Is it not accelerating? Is it leaking? So this is where the user, you know, the customer or whoever you want this example would type that in. So then once your custom crew is built out with these two 
expert mechanics and those symptoms that we give it, our first custom task is going to be a diagnostic task. So for this task, our OBD2 expert is going to take the code we gave it and the car symptoms and using its knowledge it has about OBD2 codes, it's going to try to come up with the most likely, you know, with whatever it is that's most likely coming, that's going on with the car. And that's what gives us its result. Now, given these results that we get, which is based on the analysis of the first agent, we're then going to go to our solution finding task. So this custom task uses the Toyota Corolla Expert Mechanic. And this Toyota Corolla Expert Mechanic looks at the analysis provided from, you know, the OBD2 expert. And from there, it's going to go ahead and take us to what's going to be the most likely solution based on its own analysis. So that's pretty much how our, you know, how our automotive diagnostics is going to work using Crew AI. Again, we're still keeping the same template. We're still keeping the same template that we used on our previous, you know, on the generic template we downloaded. We're just going to take. We're just going to change some of the definitions for our program. So if we look over here in our project, let's take a look at the agents. So if we look here to our first agent. This is the OBD diagnostic expert, as you can see here. And remember earlier when we talked, we have our role for the agent, our backstory, and our goal. So again, the role is just OBD2 diagnostic expert. The backstory is, has years of experience with automotive diagnostics, so on and so forth. You know, has developed a, scene, a, a keen sense of, for quickly identifying issues based on OBD2 codes, I'm gonna keep messing that up. Sorry about that, guys. And again, what is the goal? So the goal for this agent, which is the OBD2 expert, is to provide a comprehensive analysis and codes and recommend preliminary checks and simple fixes for cars. So this guy is kind of like your mechanic that first takes a look at it. When you bring your car in, he pops in the, the code, he analyzes it, and he gives you feedback on that. Now, we're gonna go over this one real quick, too. So as you're... 2008 Toyota Corolla Expert. So this is a mechanic that's you know specifically geared towards 2008 Toyota Corolla models, and he's very familiar with those issues, so on and so forth. So now the goal for this one is it gives you a model-specific advice on the repair and strategies. And now let me see. And I think what's key about this one is that it's going to focus on the cost effectiveness on the cost effectiveness and practicality of the solution. That is, we basically wanna, if there's a problem with the car, obviously you wanna start fixing it with the cheapest, with whatever is the most likely. You wanna start by fixing it, starting with whatever is most likely, but also the cheapest thing to fix, right? If you suspect that there's something wrong with the engine, you probably wanna try fixing the spark plugs before you take out the whole engine, correct? So that's something, so that's also something that we're prompting our agents to do that is provide an analysis that is practical at the end of the day because we don't we don't just want a bunch of answers we want to know what's most likely based on the information that we give them now maybe you're looking at this and now that you're seeing that you have to change up code a little bit maybe because it's not in your area of expertise maybe because you haven't done it before you don't necessarily maybe you don't feel comfortable with it maybe you don't feel confident in that so remember, when we started out with this project, we had a template here. Everything was just predefined and pre-written for us. It didn't really make sense. It was very generic. So if that's the case where you don't really want to go in here typing, you don't really want to spend too much time building out the backstory or the goal, <coughs> it's not a problem at all. I'm going to go to chat GPT and I'm going to show you right here. And see, this is where I got most of this code, right? I just told it, hey, I'm going to give you some crew AI project files. And then I want you to think of some problems we could solve using a template. We have only changing details for the agents or the tests. So basically, I copy and pasted the original template that we had. I gave it to ChatGPT and I wanted it to give me some ideas on the kind of projects that we could build with it. Now, when I got that back, I got some, I think these were good ideas. We got here market research, content creation customer support, product development, and you know financial analysis and forecasting. And while I think these are great ideas, I do feel like they're a little bit generic because so far any crew AI so far any crew AI project I've seen online, um, it tends to be their, you know, stocks and stock market, copywriting this and that. And I think those use cases are important. 
but I think for me personally, I want to build something that I was actually going to use and I want to be able to use Crew AI to simplify a problem that I've previously had and I think it's going to keep happening, right? At the end of the day, we're all going to have car issues from time to time. We're not going to necessarily want to spend a lot of money in the mechanic. So I think this is a use case that is practical, I mean, really for anybody. So once it gave me that response, I give it a very a very short, very generic description of the kind of project I want to build with Korea. I just told it here, what about something related to auto mechanics or one is an expert in the OBDC2, here I misspelled OBDC2 codes, and the other one's an expert mechanic who specializes in 2008 Toyota Corollas. So you can keep bringing the rest of this. But yeah, that was the short description I gave ChatGPT to tell it, hey, I have this project that has two agents, and instead of these two agents, I want to be two mechanics. One is an expert in codes, one is an expert in Toyotas. So from here, ChatGPT, and again, this is the version four I'm using, gives me the agent definitions because it already has the context on what the Cray AI project is and how it was written out. Because remember, I copied and pasted it there earlier. It's giving me the role, the backstory, and the goal, again, for our OBD2 diagnostics expert and for our Toyota Corolla expert. Again, it does this very neatly, very concisely. And same thing with the task definition, because remember, there's also this file, the tasks.py, that we have to change and that we have to edit as well. Let me show you that real quick. So as you can see here in our tasks.py, this is where you have the diagnostic task. Here you also have to describe the task. In this case, we want to analyze the provided OED2 code same thing, a little more information on there. And here on ChatGPT, we were also able to get that description in the expected output. Now, I understand maybe you saw this and you see that it's formatted pretty much the same, but you're just like, Hector, I'm not a programmer, I'm not a coder, I'm not trying to edit this and you know get kind of caught up in making mistakes. I understand that too, no problem. So same thing. So all I did was, I basically gave ChatGPT again the original. I think I started with the test.py file, the one that we had that was a template, and I just told it to give me the code for it. And here, ChatGPT gives me the exact code that I need in order to modify that file that I have. From here, all you have to do is click copy code. And for this one, which is related to the task, when you copy your code here, all you have to do is delete the one that you have in your task.py and paste it. So as you can see here, these match up perfectly. Here you have your task, analyze the provided OBD2 code to narrow down the potential issues. And here on ChatGPT, you have the same thing too. So this is the exact code that I created. And you can continue doing that for the rest of the files. You can continue doing that for agents.py. You can continue doing that for main.py. And that's pretty much how we're able to, in a very quickly, very, very non-stressful way, we're able to modify our Cruiai project in a way that we can customize it for our own use, for our own project, for, for our own problem that we want to solve. And again, this after we set everything up, installed everything, and got it to run. So with that being said, let's actually run our diagnostics team, right? So again, we're going to start this up. And if you don't want to type your commands that you've typed before, all you have to do is press up on your arrow keys and it'll show you the previous commands you've typed. So here it's gonna be just python main.py. All right, so here we have, welcome to the automotive diagnostics crew. All right, so for our OBD2 code, we're gonna put P0130. And then for the symptoms of, the, of what the car is doing, we're gonna say that it's not accelerating correctly, and then when we step on the gas, it's shaking. So here we have it running. So here we see that it finished with its response. So let's go scroll to the top and see what it said. So here we have the first response, uh, faulty, faulty oxygen sensor. Here it gives us some direction what we can do to check this out and tells us an option what we can do to replace this. And it also even gives us an estimate of how much this is gonna cost in terms of parts, but also labor. 
here it goes to tells us a lot more about port electrical connections again we get a short diagnosis on why this might be a problem what it could cost to replace and as you see here we're also getting you know these other we're also getting these other possible problems that could be causing the issue with the car so now let's try something else right since this is supposed to be an ai agent and this is supposed to be something helpful and it's supposed to be practical for us i'm going to assume that we're not going to have access to an obd2 scanner right so let's try running it again but without giving it a code and just giving it symptoms So here, instead of giving it a code, we're just gonna put another thing that we think the car is doing. So let's put car is heating up. Car is shaking when accelerating past 2000 RP, RPMs. So now we got our second response and we scroll a little bit to the top we can see what our first what the first recommendation was it says coolant level so it tells us the most cost effective and simplest issue to address to check the coolant level in reservoir again this is something that happens and i'm sure maybe when you were younger you might have had this issue and you know, it happened to me once when i was really young and my dad got really mad at me so yeah definitely i think this would be helpful for someone that maybe just had no idea what these symptoms um, you know what these symptoms might mean and this gives a practical gives practical advice on what would be the cheapest solution same thing here thermostat failure okay that makes sense radiator issues water pump failures and again I think what's really cool here is that even though we didn't give it a specific OBD2 code it still went through the trouble of creating that analysis where it started with one mechanic who is an expert on just more general you know car issues and then it talks to the sound mechanic which is very very well knowledge in which is very well versed in the toyota corolla so not only do we have the perspective in the so not only do we have the perspective of you know a very smart mechanic we also have the perspective of somebody that's a specialist in that specific car which in the example we're using in the corolla but you could really change it to any vehicle you would want to so that's pretty much it guys. You finally built your own custom program using Crew AI and you did it all on your own. You set everything up from the code editor, from all the libraries that need to be installed, from getting the API key to setting up the project, walking through the code. And now from here, you're at a point where you can take this project that you built on your desktop and you can customize it any way you want. Do you want to go ahead and do the copywriting thing, the stock analysis thing? Do you have any do you have other ideas? Maybe you want help writing poetry. Maybe you want help writing a novel. Maybe you want help just understanding programming itself and you're going to use Crew AI to help you with speeding up your learning process. From here on out, you can even add more agents, add more custom tasks. Whatever it is you decide to do, you can make this as complex or as simple as you want. Let me know in the comments what other technologies you would like to explore. Would you want to make more complex Crew AI projects? Would you like to use some of the other tools that are available to Crew AI, such as web searching, data scraping? Or would you want to learn some of the more core concepts of programming and computer science, such as machine learning, Python, data science? Either way, I would love to hear what it is that you plan on building with your Crew AI project now that you have it installed and ready to go. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.